What's up YouTube, it's your boy Asa, back with another video. Today we're gonna to talk about how to master your songs and your beats to sound really good on YouTube, Spotify, and all the other streaming services that are out there. There's one little secret that a lot of people don't know and that you need to understand in order to make your mixes sound really, really good. So let's get straight to it. What's up YouTube, so here I am, I've made this beat and I need to master it now. Um, I have my master presets already set up and I'm gonna tell you guys the secret the number one secret that You need to know you need to understand what this is In order to have your stuff sound good on YouTube Spotify have it loud enough not too loud and appropriate loudness levels that your mix is clear and sounds good That secret is this plugin right here the Yulian loudness meter 2 and look at that it's free Free. what do you know go get this it's super important and the reason that it's so important is this right here it tells you your loudness in LUFS and LUFS I don't know if it's pronounced LUFS or LUFS or what I don't know LUFS or LUFS or whatever it tells you your loudness in this system which is the same system that the streaming services use to um, talk about their loudness and the thing that they do is they limit their loudness to negative 14 luffs. So if you have your mix set to negative 10 or negative 6 luffs, then they're going to compress that. And you're going to lose all of that dynamic range that you've worked so hard in getting your mix to stand out just right. You're going to lose all of that when your negative 10 or negative 6 um, luffs master comes through to their streaming service. So what you need to do is put your master and set it so that the loudness isn't um, going over negative 14 luffs. So for me, what am I? What are we at right now? So I'm coming through at about negative 10. So what I need to do is I need to go into my compressor. I'm going to turn down my loudness here. I'm going to go to my limiter. I have it turned up some too. All right, let's just see how that how that does now. And honestly, I'm pretty good with that. Now, right there, when I put this on streaming services, the mix that I just worked on for 45 minutes is gonna come through exactly the way it's supposed to because of the master track being set to negative 14 loves. A few tenths of a luff over isn't gonna kill your your dynamic range if you want to, and make sure want to make sure that it doesn't peak over that at all. You definitely can. You could set another limiter and like a hard limiter so that it doesn't go over that point. But I'm pretty happy with that right there. So let's just like let's do it again. And I'm really I'm not even going over the negative 14 right there. So I'm really happy with that on my mix. And I turned off some of my, my plugins because my computer couldn't handle it. It was starting to, um, the latency was getting to be too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these on real quick and hopefully it doesn't lag too, too much. Um, so I can make sure that the loudness is still good with the rest of the mix completed. And I'm happy with that. So there you go. That's the number one secret that you need to know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is super, super important to make sure that your mix sounds really freaking good on all the streaming services. It, when we listen to artists like Travis Scott, one of like their beats are their biggest attraction and, and the master isn't too loud or too quiet. It sounds sonically pleasant. Travis Scott has those, those sounds that you can hear everything and it's in a different atmosphere and that's all because of the mix and that mix stays intact through the mastering process which is so important. So you can have all your kicks and you can have them punch super hard but you have to make sure that in your master track it's not exceeding negative 14 luffs and you can go get the Yulian loudness meter for free. It's a great plugin. It does the job well. All it has to do is 
you know, make sure that you're not too loud. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please follow me on Instagram, subscribe here. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you have any other questions, let me know. If you guys want a more in-depth mastering tutorial and you want to see what my master chain looks like uh, per plugin and not just a brief overview like that, let me know and I'll get that, get that done for you guys. Until next time.